So here is a new egg. It's tiny. It looks like a pearl. Usually on the underside of the milkweed plant. Here is an egg that is about to hatch. You can tell because of the black dot. Soon a teeny tiny little caterpillar will crawl out. When he first comes out, he's a little bit smaller than that, but he's one of my newer hatchlings. And then he grows a little bigger, kind of like that. That guy has probably pupated already several times. Now from there, let me look over here. And these guys are a little bit bigger, but like in comparison to the leaf, not huge, but they're eating and getting bigger every day. Let's see on this guy. That guy. He looks like he might be ready to shed this skin and go to the next size. And there's another guy over there. He's quite busy. And then if we go up above, we keep the bigger guys on the upper level. Because they, at this point, eat about two whole leaves a day. And they want to make sure they don't eat the ones with the eggs or the tiny babies. So right now, I have two big guys that are probably just a day or two away from, so they're going to be doing some massive eating. you see now and then from there they'll crawl up to the top and go into this hanging J form they form that um, kind of a silken attachment and then kind of shed their skin their skin kind of breaks open you can kind of see the sky towards his head has that green color. The chrysalis is actually kind of on the inside and the skin breaks open down from the bottom up towards the top where it's connected to the top of the butterfly enclosure. And it wiggles, 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 wiggles till all of the skin comes off and then it is the hanging chrysalis. So what happens is like this guy right now, he's just crawled up to the top and he's working on forming his silk attachment to keep him safe. And once he does that, then he'll drop down into the hanging J form. I've got another guy there who's in his J. And you can kind of already see that green. I would imagine by tonight, he'll be a chrysalis. I see that. And I have another guy right up here who's also in that hanging J. And then if I kind of zoom out, we have a great number of guys who've already completed the process. 
are in their green chrysalises. That guy, we have one on the back wall back here, which I haven't seen that before. So far, only one has made one on the wall, but there he is. So we have those guys. We'll kind of scan around. Those guys back there. These guys up here. And a number kind of hard to... Oh, I'm going out of focus, but a number here towards the front. Now, when these start to get clear, we have had one emerge already, but the green chrysalis starts to get clear, and you can actually see some of the, mon the markings of the monarch um, through the clear chrysalis before he actually emerges. And right now, I don't have one that's, I'm looking around here, really clear yet. Um, I can kind of, some of them you can kind of see a little bit of something, but it's a process. A really, really beautiful process to watch. And that's what we've done this summer our summer of transformation. It's currently August um, of 2015. And Will and Evan have been active helpers in our whole process this summer. This is about our butterfly cage. Our caterpillar and butterfly cage. Keep the babies and the smallies down on the left mediums on the right and big guys on the upper. And that's how it is.